First up, Lin-Manuel Miranda and the In the Heights movie crew surprised on Friday by turning out for a high school performance of the play at New York's George Washington High. From Deadline, Crazy Rich Asians John M. Chu, who will direct the film, recorded the reaction when Miranda took the stage. The Broadway musical follows the lives over three days of the local immigrant residents living in Washington Heights in New York City. The In the Heights film is ready to start production and anticipates it will be released in June of 2020. Next up, after premiering his new film to critical acclaim at the 72nd edition of the Cannes Film Festival, Bong Joon-ho has teamed with Neon to bring his Palme d'Or award-winning drama to the masses. From JoeBlow.com, Parasite marks Bong's comeback to Korean language film following his release of Okja on Netflix, as well as the 2013 Chris Evans sci-fi film Snowpiercer. His latest crowd pleaser also sets up the foreign filmmaker's fourth collaboration with actor Song Kang-ho after the duo teamed on Snowpiercer, The Host, and Memories of Murder. Neon will release Parasite on October 11th, 2019. Next up, legendary action star Wesley Snipes of Blade and Demolition Man fame is set to appear in the upcoming zombie action thriller Outbreak Z, for which he will both star and executive produce the project. From ComingSoon.net, the film, directed by stuntman and daredevil fight choreographer Chris Brewster in his debut, will follow two SWAT officers on a desperate search on a college campus overrun by zombies for a man who holds the vaccine to prevent the apocalypse. To join Snipes, Brewster is still casting other roles, reportedly going back to his past as a stunt director to hire stuntmen and women to star in the film. Production start is being eyed for summer in Minnesota, with Nashville-based songwriter Eric Argess attached to compose the score for the action horror film. Next up, we've got a new box office milestone and Disney's Aladdin, as it's been reported, the movie was confirmed to have cracked the top five Memorial Day weekend box office openings. From Cinema Blend, from Friday through Memorial Day, Aladdin made over $116,800,000. That put it well past the previous number five on the list, X-Men Days of Future Past, which had a four-day opening of over $110,576,000 in 2014. That also put Aladdin just a hair behind Fast and Furious 6. In the top three spots are X-Men The Last Stand, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and number one, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Moving forward from Aladdin, Disney still has some massive potential hits ahead in 2019, including the Lion King remake, which could break the 2017 Beauty and the Beast record for a remake opening. Next up, audiobook publisher Dreamscape Media has struck a deal with Marvel Entertainment to distribute a few dozen of the iconic comic books as Read to Me style audiobooks. From Variety, the titles will be made available for sale and also added to the free library lending app Hoopla starting in September. Some of the comic books covered by the agreement include The Ultimate Spider-Man, The Ultimate X-Men, and Daredevil the Man Without Fear. Around two dozen titles are being produced exclusively by Dreamscape Media as part of this collaboration. Dreamscape Media is the audiobook publishing arm of Midwest Tapes. Midwest will also distribute these Marvel titles via its Hoopla subsidiary, which is a digital media service that collaborates with local libraries. This means that library patrons will be able to listen to the books free of charge via the Hoopla app provided that their local library has signed up for the service. And finally, the creators of the popular HBO series Game of Thrones, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, have parted ways with their longtime management company, Management360. From GlamourFame.com, their now former manager, Guyman Cassidy, who also served as a producer on Game of Thrones, helped the duo turn a Song of Ice and Fire book series into a mega-hit fantasy series. Speaking about their former manager and producer, the duo said, Guyman has been a good friend and partner for us for many years, and we look forward to the next chapter in our relationship. His eye for great material is keener than it's ever been, and we expect to be producing many shows and films with him in the future. Currently, they are setting up meetings around town in search of a new global overall deal. They met with HBO Warner Media, Disney and Comcast, along with some streaming giants about two weeks ago. But as of now, the creators of Game of Thrones are busy with prepping their own trilogy of Star Wars films. The first film in the series is scheduled to release in December of 2022. And that will do it for today's installment of the Movie News Feed.